Hey everyone! On November 8, 2016, I will be casting my first ever vote for President of the United States. I have been looking forward to this moment all of my life. My parents moved to this country so I could have that privilege. I have been an engaged citizen ever since I was old enough to understand because of that privilege. All my life, I thought it was a privilege to be a citizen of the United States of America. That it is a privilege to cast my vote and have my voice heard. I remember my senior year of high school. It was Mitt Romney versus Barack Obama. I didn't mind Mitt Romney, I thought the memes were funny, but I didn't think that he was the devil that everyone thought he was. As someone of a religion other than traditional Christianity, I could kind of relate to him. However, I believe Barack Obama was the best for this country. Due to the unfortunate circumstance of my mother carrying me to full term, I turned 18 almost exactly a month after that election. You can bet that I was mad as hell about that. I had to wait for long years to be able to cast my vote in a presidential election. I kind of always knew that Hillary would run, and I kind of always knew that I would be voting for her. After the 2012 election, I was really excited about voting for Clinton in my first ever election. You may remember that her approval rates were extremely high, and they were because she was kicking ass and taking names as America's primary diplomat. In some ways, I am still very excited about November 8th. My first and only vote for president will be for a woman. I will be joining my peers and doing my civic duty and having my voice heard. I will finally be able to press a button or pull a lever and feel like I belong in this country because I have a voice in its fate. However, the election of 2016 is unlike any other. In any other election, just one of the scandals of either presidential candidate would have resulted in the elimination of that candidate. In any other election, we would be talking about health care and war instead of whether or not one of the candidates or their spouses raped people. In any other election, neither candidate would be deemed fit for office. I am not saying that Clinton is equivalent to Trump in any way. The thing is, in the past, I have had a lot of respect for Republicans and the Republican Party. While I disagree with many of the ideals of the party, I understood where they were coming from and I respected their opinions. In 2008, I actually wanted John McCain to win. I would have voted for John McCain. In 2012, like I said, I would have voted for Obama, but I had a lot of respect for Mitt Romney. In this election, I can't find it in me to respect Donald Trump. In the last 10 or so years of my life, I have seen the best of what the Republican Party has to offer. Some of my best friends are Republican, some of my family is Republican, and I actually align with some of the Republican Party's policies. Donald Trump does not represent the ideals of the Republican Party that I recognize. I don't need to rehash the dozens of terrible things he said because we've heard them all. Donald Trump is a terrible person and it is my civic responsibility to not let him get elected. However, despite being a Hillary Clinton supporter from the start, it is hard to deny that if she had run the campaign she is running 10 years ago, nobody would have believed that she is fit to be president either. Of course, Hillary Clinton is the most experienced, accomplished woman in the public sector. She has the best resume for the job. We've known this since 2008. While she seems robotic on stage, countless testimonies attest to her compassion and kindness. We have seen her determination, and we've seen her get things done. I know the talking points. Trust me, I've used them many times myself. However, every time we see more emails, every time I hear about Benghazi or any of the number of shady things that she may have been involved in, I can't help but think that in some way she has taken my vote without asking. Don't get me wrong, I am a staunch supporter of the center left. I didn't believe Bernie Sanders was the right man for the job. I certainly don't believe that any of the Republican Party's many candidates were right for the job. And no, I don't think either third party candidate deserves it either. And that leaves Hillary. <laughs> 
but this election has made me exhausted. The debates were nothing but lying and rehashing scandal after scandal. I feel like I am watching the worst of the worst battle it out to be powerful. I can't help but feel like my mom should have had me a month early so that I could have enthusiastically voted for a candidate I cared about in my first ever presidential election. Four years ago, there were two candidates that were on the ballot that would have been decent at the job. I can't help but wish that I was watching two intelligent people talking about topics with real ramifications for our society and nations abroad. Honestly, this doesn't feel the way I thought it would feel. This doesn't feel like the election that I deserve after waiting 21 years and 11 months to vote. I don't deserve the lowest common denominator of discourse. But I also feel like it's too late to demand anything higher. It's too late to call out every single lie Donald Trump has told. And it's too late to stop Hillary Clinton from addressing false accusations as if they were real. The vast majority of campaigning has already occurred. I think most people in America know who they're voting for. And I know I do. But my first ever presidential vote is not going to be for someone I believe truly deserves the job. My first ever presidential vote? The thing that I have been looking forward to forever is now something that I am terrified of. I deserve better. My generation deserves better. America deserves better than this. I will see you guys next time. Bye.